All right, Data Rockstars, we have another fun one for you today. So we are going to be doing some web data scraping, pulling in using a piece of desktop software called Parse Hub that allows you to automate going through a website to many, many pages and extracting that data so we can do some cool stuff with it. And they are really neat. So we were inspired seeing them pull in a bunch of data from Etsy. There's all sorts of attributes about product. There's real-time pricing data and all of that and without some sort of direct connection, like an API or integration or some sort of relationship with them. There's really no way to do that. But as regular people, we can actually run this scraping software and have it automated and go through and pull that for us so we can get more than just a little snapshot. I want all sorts of data. I want it a lot more so we can make some better uh, decisions. Check out their blog post uh, here. They've got a whole bunch of them, a lot of troubleshooting and a lot of guides and, and learning and stuff. Uh, it's definitely pretty cool. So check it out. Come here, download the software and sign up for the free account. We get to try five projects for free and you can delete the old ones and try new ones. And so set that up and then we will go from there. All right. What we are targeted at getting is customer reviews today. So I want to figure out if they're trends. I want to figure out if maybe there's some sort of thing that's happening with the products that needs to be updated or maybe uh, things aren't fitting well and you need to let the executives know that they need to work on a particular piece of that product or maybe there's something that's you know getting really popular. Maybe camo yoga pants are really popular a uh, certain year and maybe we need to invest really quickly as soon as we start seeing a lot of activity in those reviews. Uh, this is a number of companies that use this particular tool. So a lot of things on websites you can either build or buy. And if we don't have infinite time and developer resources to create everything, and a lot of these are so well developed and so nice to be able to uh, install and uh, sign up for that. This is one of them. So Yapo looks like a ton of brands like Away, Allbirds. Uh, Rafi's GoPro, Burton, Volcom, a million of them are using this particular one. And I like it a lot because it is fairly easy uh, to scrape. So what we need to do is for your focus company or competitors that you're looking at or whoever you want to do, uh, you want to figure out where the reviews page lives if it has one. So there are these two types. The first one is like a reviews page that has all of them. So for Alo Yoga, they have 52,000 reviews or something like that. This is the page so you can search on Allo. You can search on Google for Allo reviews and maybe that'll come up. Um, and then sometimes that's like a setting that maybe not enabled in Yapo for those companies. And so they only have them on the individual product detail pages like Allbirds, GoPro, and Rothy's. Uh, go to one of their more popular products that it's going to have more than a few pages of re reviews if it only has zero or two reviews. There's no point in doing this. Um, you want to have something that has a lot of pages. So those do and are good examples. So see if you can find that URL and then open up your Parse Hub software. And we're going to use that to start a new project. So with a new project, we're going to do plus type in that URL or cut and paste it and click start project on this URL. Move me over here. So you'll see waiting for page to load. I might have a little red thing around there. It looks like it combined with a different color. Um, it does take a little while. It's processing the whole page and it's trying to figure out where all the different containers are because we're going to be processing those and extracting them. So 51,020 reviews, reviews by Yachtpo, like I mentioned. And now you're going to see some action on that upper left up there. And you're going to see select page and empty selections. So what I want to do is click that plus, and I'm going to click select. And I'm just going to get the very basics of the review. I don't want to get the headline today. I can pull all sorts of different things at once. Uh, let's keep it simple today. So this div, this container on the website says just the right amount of stretch and support. I'm going to click that one thing. And now other fields that are other containers, the software Parse Hub is trying to figure out, you know, Taylor or these also uh, what you're looking for. So that T, which is the worst review ever, it looks like a, a typo, I guess, but um, I'm going to click that as well. So now it is also figuring out all those others that are that same pattern of container, that same uh, thing in the HTML and the CSS or whatever is that. So we are good to go. So I am going to 
uh, rename that. So it's highlighted up there. My spell check is trying to interfere with it. But if you can click in there in section and uh, click and type review text and type it exactly if you're going to follow the rest of this video, <laughs> I should as well, uh, because we can replace the data for one of the Tableau public uh, files that I have published out there as a workbook with this. And you can do some cool stuff with it there. And now let's scroll down to the end of the page. So we have at least nine pages, probably many more, but it's doing nine at a time and it has a button that is there. So what I want to do is add an action to this page. I'm going to click select and I'm going to click that arrow right. It may look totally different on whatever page you're on. It's obviously a designer's choice, but the functionality is uh, different as well. So now I'm going to click plus on that select an extract. Hopefully it'll come up. My spell check doesn't interfere again. Let me click out of it and then back in again to the plus. And then I want a click. It's being a little slow. It went away. OK, well, we're going to try that again. <laughs> click, click. Uh, yay. OK, so the trick, once you have that click in and it's still loading, we need to rename whatever it gave us to, well, actually, it figured out without me doing it. You should rename that selection to button, B-U-T-T-O-N, like Benjamin Button. I must have clicked something that actually helped us out a little bit better. But yeah, it, it'll end up saying, is this a next page button if it's a click action and you typed button in the name? So yes, it is. And then how many times do you want to repeat the, the template? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do nine because that was the nine pages I saw. You should do much more. You should do 25 or very many. If it's infinity, you do eventually need to stop it probably. Uh, and then click repeat current template. Move me over here. And so now we have this section fully complete. We've got the review text. We've got the button that is going to go to the next pages, and it repeats it nine times. So we're, we are done. Uh, so now we can click Get Data. This is the running section, if you haven't noticed. And then you can click Run. And now it's starting up. So it's going to refresh status every once in a while. It's not like real time. You can click Refresh again if you want the data refreshed. But the page is scraped. It's at 1. And it will keep going and refreshing and tell us how many pages uh, all of those times. So let's see. All right, we're at two. We're going to let it go a few more times. Uh, but this just does all the work for us. We can kind of sit back and relax. And then we'll be able to export it to Excel and go from there. So at four. <laughs> so it's really neat just because you know we're going to be able to pull it up in Tableau and search the different uh, review text for different words and see if there are any trends. Uh, and this is a really neat way to do it. And we should be about there. I know I had 40 seconds. I can click refresh and it's at 9. So it's probably getting ready for it to be downloadable. I don't know why it's at 10, <laughs> I said 9. OK, whatever, it's an extra page or something. Um, great, so turn green, ready to download CSV Excel, open with Microsoft Excel. We can see what we have. All right, so Excel incoming, and we have this. We can double click that. So review text name, we do want that precise data if we're going to use it later with mine. And here you go. These are all the different reviews. And if I do control down, go to the end. So I just pulled 100. So it's getting you know, 10-ish reviews per page. It had 50,000, so I probably could have put 25,500 on here. So I would definitely recommend, you know, putting 25,500, you know, whatever you can uh, 
wait for, but uh, definitely get a good amount so you can get a really good sample of these reviews and it'll be fun to work with. So this is what we will import into Tableau in a little bit, but let's pause.